Having trouble scoring in Madden 23? Do you drive the length of the field only to get shut down in the red zone? You suck! Or even worse, throw an interception? No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Or perhaps you just need better plays you can use the entire length of the field. So if you want to know what unstoppable money plays I'm using to have the highest third down conversion percentage in the entire Madden 23 online gameplay community, stick around after the intro. The champ is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm going to be focusing on red zone offense or money plays that you can use in any critical situation. This has been one of the most requested topics in my comment section, so I've decided to dedicate an entire video to this subject. So if you have something that you're struggling with or you think you might have a good idea for a future video topic, please let me know in the comment section because you never know, it might be the topic of my next video. Also, I want to thank everybody who takes the time to comment because it helps my channel, lets me know what you guys can help with, and ultimately molds the content of my channel. So thank you guys very much for your help. Now, when it comes to the red zone, the first thing to understand is that the red zone can mean anywhere from one yard to gain to 20 yards to gain. So it's best to break it down into plays that work from different distances. Since the red zone situation can change, no red zone play is a one size fits all answer. In this video, I'm going to start by giving you the best plays from one yard away and work my way back to the best plays from five yards away, 10 yards away, 15 yards away, and so on. Every play I'm going to show you guys today can be found in New Orleans Saints offensive playbook. I've put out full breakdowns of these plays plays and offenses in previous videos so i'll have links in the description if you guys want to learn more about them all these plays are from my new orleans saints offensive ebook which i will also have a link for in the description as well as all my ebooks which you can download directly to your device simply by clicking the link now starting out at one yard away and i don't know who needs to hear this but if you're one yard away from the end zone there really is only two options that you need in your arsenal and that is the goal line qb sneak and goal line fullback dive the qb sneak is pretty guaranteed as most people don't know or have a defense that stops it so just in about any situation where you need a yard you should choose one of these plays i usually set the fullback dive in my audibles as a backup plan just in case my opponent looks like they have a defense that will stop the qb sneak but i went through all the gameplay footage that i had on my hard drive and i couldn't find any footage of me using the fullback dive that's just a testament to how good the qb sneak is because it worked every single time so don't overthink it and just use the qb sneak now for the best play inside or around the five yard line, which means anywhere from like three to eight yards, it's usually best to run the ball. This doesn't mean bulking up and trying to overpower your opponent though. Mm. Coming out in heavy run packages are too obvious and would allow your opponent to match with their best run defense or simply run commit, making it harder to punch it in on the ground. At the end of the day, running the ball doesn't work as well without the threat of a pass play to open up run lanes. If you only have one wide receiver on the field or less, a lot of times your opponent might elect to run commit and take their chance using that lone wide receiver. The play that I suggest comes from another offensive video series that I've already put out this year, which I will also have supporting links in the description for, and that play is the inside zone from the gun stack Y flex. The inside zone is a very common run play that can be found in just about every gun formation in the game, but what makes this play so special is the spread of the formation, specifically the stacked wide receivers, as they typically spread the linebackers and defensive backs to the point where it creates run lanes that other more condensed gun formations don't. In reality though, any spread gun formation in your favorite playbook is better than a formation that has wide receivers tight or close to the line similar to a gun tight or a gun bunch because if the receivers are close to the line, the defenders are also. Nope. So it's definitely best to spread them out to create run lanes inside for this very simple run play which is also very effective as long as you do it from a spread formation. This play is also very effective because of the next play I'm going to go over from the same formation which is the drive halfback wheel which is another play that I use from anywhere on the field but it is also very good red zone play from anywhere inside the 10 yard line because i use this play so much and it really beats any defense man or zone it usually has to be user to be stopped which means when my opponent sees this formation they will usually recognize it and start outside with the idea of trying to jump the route pre-snap 
making the inside zone that much easier because it's going in the opposite direction. This play is a more effective scoring option though if your opponent hasn't seen it yet, especially against the Meta Man Zero Blitz, which will usually see you walking into the end zone uncovered if your opponent doesn't follow the running back when he goes out on his pattern. This play does get open underneath every zone though, so if your opponent's running a zone coverage, it's going to get open underneath that as well. The next play might surprise you, and that's exactly the point, because I promise it will surprise your opponent too, and that's the halfback slip screen. As long as you don't run screen plays very often, I find that they are some of the best plays to run in the red zone from anywhere inside the 15 yard line. Any screen play will do, and I find that the more receivers you have on the field, the better, as it will get your opponent's attention, leaving the screen play more effective. My favorite and most used screen plays, once again from the Gunstack Y Flex, because the halfback slip screen they have in that particular series of plays has a very good secondary option in the tight end out route which gets open right above the screen play so if your opponent attacks the screen play this will typically get open right behind it and it gets open quickly enough that even though you should have free defenders running at you you can still get this pass play off and still have success the last play is by far the most diverse of the plays in today's video as it has multiple routes that can score from multiple areas. This play can be used to score from anywhere inside the 5, 10, 15, 20, or even 25 yards outside of the red zone. And that is the Saints fork out of the Eagle Aid slot, otherwise known as the Gun Empty Y Saint. We will start with the best routes inside the 5 yard line as the flat route that the tight end is running can score immediately off the line if your opponent isn't personally using the route. Even against cover two hard flats, which is what my opponent is running here, which you will see after the play, you would think that a hard flat would get in the way, but if you throw it immediately and pass lead up with the new passing system, the tight end will turn up the field before the cornerback ever comes into play. This route can score from as far as 10 yards away, but there are more effective routes on this play from that distance. Routes like the slant route, which is the lone adjustment you would have to make by slanting the running back, but I will come back to that route in a minute. The second best route is the corner route which is really one of the best routes in the game as it beats man or zone unlike the tight end flat which only beats zone this route can score from five yards away all the way up to 25 yards away so it is really the perfect route as it beats any defense however if you overuse this route like i do your opponent will usually start to user it to stop it since no other defense will once they try to take away that route personally, that's when the slanting running back will get open over the middle of the field. Slants work just as well against man or zone and typically have to be user to be stopped. The same way, putting your opponent in a no-win situation. Another good option if your opponent's trying to use or take away the corner route is streaking the tight end, which can get open against any man or zone with the exception of cover four and cover four match. This play is especially good against cover three like my opponent is running here, as all you have to do is bullet and pass lead outside. You can see we have another option over the middle that can get open against just about any single defense. The route that's being run above the slant route is also a very good route, but I don't have any footage of that yet as I'm still labbing it. Although lately I have discovered that this this route can get open against just about any defense in the game as well. Megan is really one of the best plays in the game to run anywhere on the field. So if you guys want to see an update on this play when I figure out how to work this route effectively, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. So that's that's the vid. If you guys want to see more about any of these offenses I showed you guys today, I have put out longer vids in the past and I will have links in the description with supporting content. I will also have a video popping up on the screen about the Gunstack Y Flex, which is easily my favorite offense in the game run and pass. So if you guys want to check that out, just click the link I highly recommend it. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Money shout out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.